God, I miss playing the old Katarina. But anyways, to counter her, pick someone like Diana who can quite easily counter her, both if she engages and whenever you try to engage as well. Malzahar, whose ultimate can keep her in place for quite a bit, but also because his Q is enough to stop her from spinning, and Lulu for many reasons like Polymorph, the knockup, and the speed she can give herself or dying allies. LeBlanc can completely dominate the laning phase if played correctly, Hammerdinger because she'll have very little ways of taking down his turrets, and Fizz who can very easily counter engage with a Z are other viable counters as well. Katarina's passive has two aspects to it. First, it will drop all of her cooldowns by 15 seconds whenever an enemy dies within 3 seconds of being dealt damage by her. And second, it will reduce her little jumps' cooldown by a ton whenever she picks up a dagger, so things like this become possible. Her Q throws a dagger that bounces on 3 targets before dropping to the ground ready to be picked up. Her W grants extra movement speed and will place a dagger in a location on the ground after 1.5 seconds. Her E makes her blink to an ally or enemy and will deal damage if it's an enemy. Her ultimate makes her start spinning in place and deal continuous magic damage to 3 enemies around her. In lane, she'll try to either poke you down with her Qs or farm with them, but it becomes hard for her to do both, especially if you're playing for lane dominance, which you should. As for spells, Katarina's almost exclusively take Ignite to finish off on dead targets, even after her ultimate has been interrupted. Taking Ignite versus her to get her down quickly, or Exhaust if you prefer to play passively, work quite well as well. In terms of power spikes, she'll be quite strong in the mid game if she's managed to get a few kills or proper farm in lane, but will be the strongest in the late game, especially to lone squishy targets or versus a whole squishy team. CC is definitely her main and very strong weakness. Level 3 after she can start trying to trade properly, and 6 when she can definitely cause some damage in team fights and roams are her two main level power spikes. Hextech Gunblade is a need for her because of its slow, since it'll almost guarantee she can jump and hit a very good ultimate on targets. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, she'll start jumping around uncontrollably after the 20th minute mark, cancel her ultimate and use that chance because she won't be able to move while casting it, and try to push her down to her own turret to prevent her from farming properly. Ultimately, have fun doing it.